Welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to solve past papers of 32nd International Kangaroo Mathematics Contest which was conducted in 2022 for pre-equalier level that is for grade 1 and grade 2 students. So let's start it. Question number 1 which box contains the most triangles? So we can see there is only one triangle in uh, the first box, four triangles in the second box, two triangles in the third box, there are three triangles in the fourth box and in the last box there is only one triangle. So option B is the correct option because it has the maximum number of triangles uh, which is four. Question number two, Eric cuts this picture in half and puts the two pieces together. Which option shows the two pieces of Eric's picture? So in this question, we cannot flip the one half of the picture. We have to rotate the half of the picture. So in option A, B and D, uh, we will have to flip the one half of the picture to make a complete one. But here we cannot flip. So option A, B and D are not correct. In option C, if we rotate one half of the picture, still it, we cannot make a complete uh, mushroom. In option E, if we rotate this part of the picture, then the Eric's picture can be made. So option E is the correct option here. Question number three, the picture shows five identical bricks. How many bricks are touching exactly three other bricks? So if we look at the brick at the front, it is touching a pile of three bricks and the one brick is at the back of it. So it means it is touching four bricks exactly. Now the brick at the back, it is touching uh, the pile of these three bricks and one brick is in front of it. So it means it is also touching four uh, bricks exactly. Now the brick at the top. Two bricks are beside it and one brick is under it. So it means it is touching three bricks exactly. The brick in the center, it is touching four bricks exactly. One is above of it, one is under it and two are beside it. So it's touching four bricks. Now the last brick that is at the bottom. So it is touching three bricks exactly because one brick is above of it and two are beside it. So we can say that there are uh, two bricks which are touching exactly three other bricks. Question number four, one sandwich and one juice together cost 12 euro. One sandwich and two juices uh, together cost 14 euro. How many does one juice cost? So we, so we will use simple method over here. We will cancel the first sandwich with the second sandwich and then we will cancel the first juice with the second juice. After that, we will subtract 12 out of 14. So the remaining uh, number is 2. So the cost of the remaining juice is 2, which is our option B. Question number 5, there has to be two coins in each row at each column. Where do you need to put the final coin? So we can see that there are two circles in the first, second and fourth column, but not in the third one. And there are two circles in the first, second and fourth row. But in the third row, there is only one circle. So we will put our uh, circle at the place of D. Then we will have two circles in the third column and third row both. So option D is the correct option here. Question number six, a monkey has torn a piece from Captain Jack's map. Which is the missing piece? So if we look at all our options, in option A, there are some boats which can be found on the left corner of the map. In option B, there is a cross which we cannot find anywhere in the map. So option B can be our missing piece of map. In option C, there is a skeleton of fish which is over here at the right corner bottom of the map. And the mountains can be found in the center of the map. Then we can see the skeleton at the uh, left top corner of the map. So option B is our answer because we cannot find any cross in the map. So this is the missing piece of the map. Question number seven, Peter puts the four puzzle pieces shown together to make a square. Which picture can he make? So here we can arrange the pieces of the puzzles corner wise like we will put this uh, piece at the top left corner then on the other side, we can uh, put this piece. 
now we can arrange the rest of the two pieces at the uh, uh, at the bottom left corner and right corner so we can see there is a shape of moon so option b will be the uh, picture that will be that we can get after joining the pieces of the puzzles Question number eight, some inks built on a piece of squared paper as shown in the picture. How many of the squares have ink on them? So let's count the number of the boxes first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus six is 12. 12 plus six is 18. And 18 plus six is 24. So it means there are 24 boxes in total. And ink is not spilled on the corners. So as there are four corners, we will subtract four out of 24. So 24 minus 4 is 20. So option E is the correct option. Ink has not spilled on the four corners only. It is spilled in on the 20 boxes. Question number 9. Kanga wrote down a number and then covered each digit with a shape. Different digits were covered by different shapes and the same digits were covered by the same shape. Which number could be written under these shapes? So, uh, if we look at our option A, it is 3, 4, 4, 2, 6. That can be our possible option here because uh, heart, sparrow and spade have different numbers. But diamonds have same. It is 4, 4. If we look at our option B, it's 3, 4, 5, 2, 6, which is incorrect because for the diamonds, the second and third number should be same. But it is uh, different. So, B is not our answer. Option C is 3, 4, 4, 2, 3. Here, the first and last number should be different, but uh, in option C, it's repeating again. So that is not right because heart and spade have two different numbers. In option D, it's 3, 4, 4, 2, 4. That is also not right because our second and third number should be same, but not the fifth one. So 4 is repeating three times here, which is not right. Similarly, option E is also incorrect because diamond and sparrow will have different numbers. But here, our third and fourth numbers are same, which is not correct. So, option A is the only correct option here. Question number 10. One animal sleeps in each of the baskets. The cola and fox are sleeping in baskets with the same pattern and shape. The kangaroo and the ostrich have the same pattern on their baskets, which basket is the puppy sleeping in. So it is given in the question that Kala and Fox are sleeping in the basket with the same pattern and shape. So here we can see basket 2 and 4 have same pattern and shape. It means the Kala and uh, Fox are sleeping in basket 2 and basket 4. The next piece of information is that kangaroo and ostrich have the same pattern on their baskets. So, basket 1 and basket 3 have same pattern. Not the same shape, but same pattern. So, kangaroo and ostrich are sleeping in basket 1 and basket 3. So, we have um, basket 5 left. The puppy is sleeping in basket 5. So, option E is the correct option here. Question number 11. Kanga wants to reach the collar without going through any of the colored squares. Which route could he take? So kangaroo can uh, hop two jumps to the right and then two jumps up. Then he can take two jumps uh, to the right. He cannot take three jumps to the right side because if uh, we do it, then we can't find our answer in the given options. So the suitable uh, way is that he hops two jumps to the right and two jumps up. After that, he will hope three jumps to the right side to reach to the collar. So, option A is the correct option here. Question number 12. In one of the pictures below, a shape is used that cannot be seen in the others. In which picture is it? So, here, let's find out the first shape that is square here in the all five options. So, there is a square in the rabbit, in the kangaroo. Then we can see this uh, square in the flamingo. And uh, if we look at this dog, there is no square in it. Even there is a square in the cat as well. But in the dog, uh, I think square is replaced with the rectangle. So option D is the correct option. 
the shape that is that cannot be seen in the other shapes is a rectangle which is in option d only